Podcasting from her kitchen table, it's Jacqueline Jay, here with another episode of Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, where we focus on faith, family, fun, and finance for my fierce, fly, and fabulous sisters over 40. Come on in the kitchen. Coffee's brewing. Pull up a chair and girl, let's talk. Now, here is your host for Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, Jacqueline J. Welcome back. Come on in. We're still getting a little bit more settled each and every day into our new life in the big city. I can't tell you how many times I have been asked, why would you leave a job and not have one to go to? Well, firstly, first of all, God's got this. Second of all, it was not for lack of trying because I actually started looking for work several months before we actually moved. However, the majority of individuals that I spoke with wanted me to what? Wait until I actually got to the city. So there you go. Third, if we did not leave when we did, I firmly believe we would have still been sitting in the same place five years from now, singing the same old shoulda, coulda, woulda song, going to the same dead end jobs, not being able to move forward with buying a house and being miserable. Now, I don't know about you, but my God said, I have come that you might have life and have life more abundantly. We were not living an abundant life in our old environment on so many levels, with the exception of our church family, whom we miss terribly. And so far, this move has not been without its challenges, but God. But God has been faithful. But God has woken us up every morning. But God has provided a roof over our head food on our table, but God has led us to a new church home and family, but God, but God, but God. I'm still looking for work after making this transition to the new city, but starting started two meetup groups to do some networking, to get out of the house and start meeting some people. And I'm also teaching a book writing class for one of the groups, which will be starting soon. And also while seeking my next employment assignment, I started coaching individuals and teaching classes on writing their books and taking the books they've already written and turning them into other products and services to further generate income. I will be also participating this week as a participating author at this week's National Black Book Festival being held right here in Houston with my book, You Have the Power, Turn Your Knowledge into a Lucrative HR Consulting Practice. That book led me to host a radio show of the same name, as well as this podcast, as well as start our publishing and production and editing company. I wrote the book primarily to serve those who have been laid off, downsized, terminated, or those who have been long-term unemployed due to either real or perceived age discrimination. Age discrimination is real, trust and believe. Even though the book was written with HR professionals in mind, the concept applies to any career or industry. If you've been in your career for any length of time, you have knowledge and skills and abilities that you could use to create your own job in the event you have challenges finding a traditional one. Now, I've never been one to let grass grow under my feet and my family jokes me all the time about being a wanderer like my father who was in the Navy. I've never been afraid to just pick up and go to a new place and try something new. 
However, I must admit those tendencies did chill out just a bit while the children were in school. But now that they're grown and out on their own, on the road again, although I do believe that this is it. Part of the morning message from last week's uh, Sunday sermon talked about time and timing and how we relate to time, if you will, and how God's time is not our time. And God does not operate or measure time like we do in terms of seconds and hours and days and months or years and decades and millenniums. So why did I leave a job and not have one to go to? Because it was time. Life may not be perfect, but whose is? We just keep it moving one day at a time and let God work in his time. Point being, don't wallow, just keep it moving. Now, for those of you who may be in the United States that may be looking for work, the United States Census is hiring. They are looking to fill over 2.5 million jobs for next year's census. And they're getting, they've actually already started. So they're not just getting started now. They're, they've already started, but they will be ramping up in cities across the country over the next several months for the census that actually starts next March. So there's a lot of activity that needs to take place between now and then. So if you're looking for work, been out of work for some period of time, maybe um, the census may be an opportunity or maybe an avenue for you to find some work while you're still in your search process. Go to 2020census.gov forward slash jobs for more information. And if you'd like your own signed copy of You Have the Power, Turn Your Knowledge into a Lucrative HR Consulting Practice, go to LSW Network dot com forward slash signed HR. So until next time, remember, nothing changes unless you do. Stay safe, be well, and be blessed. Bye now. Hello, my name is Reverend Roxanne Brown Robinson, founder of Roxanne Brown Ministries and KGI Consulting Group here in Atlanta, Georgia. I am super duper excited because on March 20th through the 21st, I will be launching a seven city tour to empower women, younger, older, middle aged from all walks of life, women in ministry and women in the marketplace. There will be dynamic women who will come to speak to your spirit man. We will touch on your wellness, your health, your wealth, relationships, how to build a profitable business and so much more. We will be starting out on Friday night with a night of worship. We are super excited that you will be able to join us at this amazing night of worship. It is a gala, so come ready to be inspired, to be lifted up. Remember, we are going into another decade in less than two and a half months. Look at your life. Figure out where you want to be. This is your season of breakthrough. The name of the conference is For His Glory Empowerment Tour. Think about things that have been laying dormant in your life. And you know that God is telling you it's time for you to make your vision come to pass. Take a top flight with us on a journey to your completeness in Him. This is your set time of favor. Remember, each and every one of us has a gift for the kingdom, and for the marketplace. And I hear the Lord saying to his daughters and his sons that you were born for this. So join us March 20th and 21st in Atlanta, Georgia, the Marriott Marquis Hotel. 
And remember, God has ordained you and has manifested your gift to walk into your new season. Come and explore all the wonderful things that God has for you in the new year. Because you were born for this, for His glory. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles with your host, Jacqueline J. Enjoy this podcast? If so, get in on the conversation and invite your sister friends. Join our Facebook group, Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles. Leave a message, ask a question, or suggest topics for upcoming episodes. Until next time, remember... Nothing changes unless you do. Stay safe, be well, and be blessed.